So I'm gonna show you how you can get a little more precise control over your shape element strokes in Adobe After Effects. More specifically, I'm gonna show you how you can create inner and outer strokes. All right, so I got my project set up here and I'm gonna create a new shape layer. I'm gonna go to layer, new shape layer, and then if I open this up, I can add an ellipse right here. And I'm gonna bring this ellipse up in size. Here we go, like 1000. And now I'm gonna add a stroke element here. Okay, so now I've got the stroke element. I can control it up here. I can change the color. And the width is currently set to two pixels, so I can bring that up here. If I open up my stroke parameters here, the group of parameters, there's just a ton of different stuff. So it's easy to get confused and cluttered up. But here is stroke width. You can bring the stroke width up. Now, if I zoom in and look at what's going on, you can see that the stroke is essentially centered. Um, the path is like right in the center of the stroke and it's gonna stay that way. That's great, but the fact is if you want precise pixel control over this, it can be not so great. So let's say for example, I want a stroke of 50 pixels and I have a fill on top of this. If I just go and set my stroke width to 50, it's only gonna be showing me 25 uh, pixel width of that stroke because the other half is under the fill. So I'm gonna show you how we can just quickly snap that and create an outer stroke. Now, since it's centered directly over the path, it makes it pretty easy mathematically. So we just need to use that half number to shift it. So we need to offset the path of the stroke. Now there happens to be an offset paths parameter or tool or animator, whatever they call it. So I'm gonna click on the add button again and then right here it says offset path. So I'm gonna add this. Now you can see the stroke moved a little bit. If I open up the parameter, there is an amount control, so it shifted it by 10 pixels. So I can grab this and shift it. You can see it's moving around. What I wanna do is I'm essentially gonna be working with two parameters here. I'm gonna be working with the amount of the offset paths and the stroke width. So I'm gonna go grab amount and then I'm gonna control click stroke width down here and then I'm gonna hit S twice and that's gonna solo these two parameters. So what I wanna do is I wanna connect my offset paths to the stroke width. So I want the stroke width to be the parent. So anytime I change the stroke width, I want it to automatically change the offset paths. So to connect these two, I'm gonna grab the property pick whip of the offset paths amount, and I'm gonna attach it to stroke width. Now right away it's gonna attach it, and now these are connected. Uh, the problem is it's just having it set to the same amount, so that's not what we want. To create that outer stroke, to have it snap to the edge, I need it to be half of the amount. So if I open up the expression that was just created here, you can see that it's just set to the stroke width to the same amount. So all I need to do is add a divide by two, and then voila, that's gonna snap automatically to the outer edge, so now I have an outer stroke. The cool thing now is if I change the width, it's automatically gonna snap to that. So it's much cleaner, much nicer way to work with the stroke, and I can even work with the controller up here as well. The thing to be aware of is that if you have multiple shape elements or shape groups inside of here, it can be get a little more complicated setting this up. So just make sure that if you're working with, like let's say you convert a text element to um, a bunch of shape elements, um, you just need to make sure that you have the right strokes because if you start changing them individually, it can get cluttered really fast. Now let's create an inner stroke. How can we do that? This is really super easy. All I need to do is change this number to a negative two so that it's gonna divide by two, but it's gonna create a negative number. So it'll push that, um, it'll offset that path inwards. So I'm gonna hit enter here, and now you can see it snapped to the edge, but it's now going inward. Okay, so that's cool. So now I have my inner stroke and my outer stroke. Let's say I'm working with the shape and I wanna switch between these two. So what I can do is I can come over here and grab the offset path group. I'm gonna hit enter to rename it. Let's call this one inner stroke, and uh, let's duplicate it. So I'm gonna duplicate it, and then let's call the duplicate outer stroke. And then I'm gonna navigate back into the outer stroke amount, and I'm gonna change the expression back to our original, which was divided by two. And now it's really as simple as changing the visibility of these. So right now I've, tur I've turned both of them off. So I have the shape layer, I'm gonna zoom in. So this is the standard shape. It's the stroke is centered around the path. So if I turn on the visibility of inner stroke, it's automatically gonna make that inner stroke. Even if I mess with the master control here, it's an inner stroke. Let's turn that off, activate outer stroke, now I got an outer stroke and I can control that. Super, super cool. All right, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more cool After Effects tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell.